Welcome back to my workshop. Uh, welcome to Wrenching and Ryden's uh, vlog number four. I thought I'd show you uh, some work that I'm doing and what I'm uh, on this uh, Scorpio at the moment. Making tank badges. Uh, put an old Honda CB360 tank on it. Made my own badge up, Wrenching and Ryden. And I thought I'd do one for the other side as well. Uh, that will be 225, because the engine is a 225. So I thought I'd engrave that in 225. You can watch along while I do that. Got to make sure I get it the right way. And so what I do, cut out some aluminium, uh, cut it out to, on an angle to match the pinstripe on the tank. And then got a little bit artistic on this one with the uh, fish tail at the end. So a bit of a curve on it to match the um, match that decal. So I'm going to do a similar sort of thing on the other side. So I'll get to uh, cut and engrave. I'll take this one off in a minute as well. Uh, so I can mark out where I'm going to cut that fish tail and do a similar sort of thing. So this one goes this way. But of course the numbers are going to have to run this way. Two, two, five. Because that's the size of the engine. Nothing big and special about that. So, get the other one off, take that around, that'll be a template as well. And we'll start doing some engraving. This is where I was doing work in this tiny little room. And thankfully now I've got the other big room. So, let's see. Yeah, mess, mess, messy mess. Anyway. Change the bit out. Let's see what bit I've got in there. If it's the round one, no, I want the round one. There's the round one to start with. Bit of a nip. Which one was the cord? Okay, that'll do for that for the time being. So, because this is the mirror of this, so we need to now mark it out. Where are the pencils gone? There's one there. And start cutting it out. Again, we're going to follow that curve of the decal on the tank. Holes line up, that's amazing. What I love about aluminium is it's so soft you can cut up a hacksaw. What I don't like about aluminium is that apparently, especially with cooking in old pots, it causes Alzheimer's. They reckon it causes Alzheimer's. I can't remember what I just said. Sorry to those. Sorry if that was a bad joke. Obviously, 
I can't cut the curve with a hacksaw. So I'll do a lot of shaping in a minute with the cutting with the flappy wheel. Might actually just drill this in the middle of that V. Just to make it easier to cut it out. This drill press was given to me by a dear friend of mine, Jerry Speck. And I tell you what, I've used it for so much stuff, it's not funny. It's an amazing old thing. Well, it's not that old, I don't think, but it serves me so well. So many, so many things I've drilled with this. I've even thought of turning it sideways and trying to turn it into some form of makeshift lathe. Okay, let's cut the fishtail bit out. Mm. I'm trying to let the hacksaw do the work, not me. Depends on which way you got the hacksaw blade facing. And this is just cheap aluminium I got from Bunnings, our big local uh, warehouse, ch uh, you know, a chain, hardware chain. Nothing special about it. Besides the fact that it's cheap, easy to work with aluminium. me aren't you because you know I'm filming you yeah. okay I did shit I did metal work in high school I was going to do woodwork except the first lesson before the teacher turned up the kids in there were throwing scribers at each other and chisels and that. I, like, I don't want this. So I, um, teacher turned up and said, oh, I think I'm in the wrong class. What do you mean? Oh, I think I should be doing the metalwork class. So I did. Um, metalwork teacher we had was amazing. He was an American, supposedly an ex-Vietnam uh, veteran helicopter pilot. Uh, taught us so much of metalwork. Gave me my passion for metalwork. And he... Um, we built an ultralight aircraft at school with him after hours, and he actually flew it. Uh, he was forced out of the school. I'm not going to go into reasons why on this video. And he went back to America and was flying helicopters out of uh, off oil rigs in the Mexico, Gulf of Mexico. Lost. I used to write to him, but we lost touch with each other. I don't know what happened to him. But yeah, he gave me my passion for metalwork but also tapped into my passion for aviation because I wanted to get on to join the Air Force. I wanted to be an airframe fitter, work on F-111s and Mirages. Um, because I'm I'm green colour blind, all I could do all I went for the test absolutely gutted me being finding out I was colour blind. They said I could be a chef, a clerk or a gardener. Now if I'd stayed in I'd probably be an air vice marshal 
in any of those fields or have my own restaurant and be out and about doing that. But anyway, that didn't happen. I did get my trade in the aircraft industry. But yeah, so I subsequently found out that about guys my age who went into the Air Force and were airframe fitters worked on the fuel tanks in F-111s and supposedly, because you had to get inside those to clean them out, supposedly some of those guys got cancer. Um, I don't know what from, could have been from the fuel residue or whatever. So in hindsight, really glad I didn't get in as a, sh as a airframe fitter in the Air Force. All right, let's do some shaping. find the second if I'm doing two of something the second one always seems to come out better than the first one not that I'm looking for a hundred percent precision here because I'm not so that one's slightly bigger which is not a problem to me at all not at all Go back around to the other shed to line it up and see what it looks like on the bike. Then we'll start shaping, putting the curve in it to match the tank curve. That's good, I like it. Yep, really cool. Ha, <laughs> love it. Okay, so now. I need to block this out a bit. So like I said, that's the other thing I like about aluminium. It's malleable, it's easy to use. Now I'm, I'm going to use a high temperature, uh, high temp black paint. I don't know if it's petrol proof or not, but let's just hope the bike doesn't spill petrol all over the tank. And then once we put that on, I'm going to hit it with the hot air gun to get it to dry because it reacts to heat really well. And then you'll see what, once it's dry what will happen. I'll let it cool down actually before you can touch it.
want it fairly thick in the grooves. All right, that's the paint. Pick up the metal. I believe the aluminium is going to be really hot, so I'm going to let it cool down a little bit before I can touch it or hold it to uh, grind it. Let you cool down over there. How hot are you? Pretty hot. Pretty darn hot. Ouch. Get the heat transfer out of that. I don't know. I don't think I will notch that. I was going to, but I think I'll just leave it as it is. I like it like that. That's come out really well. I like that. So the heat is being dragged out of this. And then we'll run a few of the sand, the, the flappy wheel the sander and then some really fine sandpaper over the top afterwards. Take some paint off of it. See what it looks like. I'll go back to the other room and run some real fine sandpaper over it and see what it looks like. I'm kind of liking it, kind of liking it a lot. So I'm just using Tamiya, would you believe it, Tamiya uh, plastic model. Um, emery paper, sandpaper, whatever you want to call it. We're going to wash it in a minute. Just need nothing more than just to give it a bit of a polish. Make some of these dings stand out. Okay, let's go and wash it. Get the dust off it. have two tank badges handmade rough as guts I was nearly gonna instead of using wrench and riding I was nearly gonna call myself rough rough as guts uh, motorcycles probably should still do that Gee. so I've got to make sure I've got some nuts so I'll screw them in put the nuts on 
screw the nuts down then cut the nuts off once I put the rubber on I kind of like that yep that's cool don't know about these four dots I might work on those a bit thicker uh, sandpaper and get rid of a couple of them there you go two handmade tank badges Woohoo! you better look at them thanks for watching uh, later on I'll probably show you some other stuff I'm doing on the bike might wear the head head thing again and off we go all right thanks bye